And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Part, Planet of Death. I have adjusted the difficulty to easy now, since I was struggling a bit um, uh, with this game. Okay, you can actually customize your car. Uh, but I have no idea what to adjust. Okay, let's just uh, try this one more time on uh, no, on easier difficulty not just not one more time but let's uh, so let's try this again using lower difficulty settings uh, yes okay. Five, four, three, two, hopefully this well this should be now a lot easier since we don't have to deal with damage For instance, and yes, then of course it sort of defeats the purpose. Uh, yeah, and now uh, given now that I'm playing on easy difficulty, I'm actually much. It seems that I'm much worse at this game. Um, you have to say that I didn't actually play this game ever since I played the demo back in 1997. I've so I have basically no experience with this game. It's a complete blind let's play in this sense. So there's probably a learning curve. Yeah, I will have my revenge for that, Mr. Blue Man, Mr. Blue Car. Yeah. Yes, probably I should have done a few training rounds. Maybe I will do that after this video. I will probably do that. Um. Yeah, so I will hopefully in the next video I will be a bit better at this game. Yeah, okay, I hope I will be better. Um, should I fail to make any kind of progress? At this game, then I maybe I will quit this let's play. Well, I have to then. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. For now, I have to come straight on this race. Hmm. And am I? I'm on the fifth place. Okay. Hmm. Some of my car is um, doesn't accelerate very much. Doesn't seem to be competitive with the other cars. Uh, or maybe I'm just inventing excuses for my bad driving. Let's not, not let's not crash into these um, into these other cars. Even though this uh, there's no no damage here. Still, of course, um, uh, you lose important seconds or important fractions of seconds if you ran ram ram into another car, of course.
I actually wonder how many people actually remember this game. I didn't actually check whether there's um, whether there already is a Let's Play of Part on YouTube, but there probably is. But I don't assume that it's that popular. Well, it's, apparently it's it's probably a lot more popular than Taken Prisoners. I wonder how many games there are that are out there that are even more obscure than Taken of Prisoners. You know, it's interesting that it's Taken Prisoners is actually so obscure since it is developed by a triple A developer, Raven Games, which have many, which have made many, many games that many people remember, like Hexen and Heretic and Wolf Return to Castle Wolfenstein and Quake 4, I think. Um, I think they made Quake 4. I never played this. And yes, uh, we lost. So, let's try this again. The good thing is that these races tend to be short. So, I think... Um, three minutes or something like this. So hopefully I should not have to make too many videos that are going over time. Because otherwise, um, if I go over time, I have to cut up video into two parts. Because I cannot upload videos longer than 15 minutes anymore. You may have noticed that, for instance, some of my uh, sin sin videos were longer than 15 minutes I even did a one hour uh, special for my one year anniversary but I can no longer I can no longer upload videos longer than 15 minutes yes for some reason that um, the ability which I had before to upload videos longer than 15 minutes got removed. Somehow they just one day Google just decided to um, not grant me that privilege anymore. And I was so annoyed, so upset about this that I I actually made a 10 minute rambling video entitled The Feudalization of the Internet, in which I am not just complaining about Google and this particular problem that I now have to face and I'm somehow on, on the first place. How did that happen? But I also complain about the state of the internet and how um, big companies are basically setting up private spaces. Private spaces that are so big that they are, it's not, it's really not like they are not like private spaces anymore, it's more like them occupying public spaces. So, for instance, YouTube is the is basically the platform platform on which you have to be if you want to um, share videos with others and want them to be seen. There are not m many alternatives, well there are, there are many alternatives to YouTube, but they are all suck. They are not. Um, they are not really alternatives, even 
though they are. If you get my meaning. So you're basically forced to use YouTube and are therefore forced to oblige to the rules that Google has set up for this sort of private public space. You have to abide these rules and that's a problem in my opinion because it completely destroys the democratic character of the internet. And in this video I argue um, this is a problem. Obviously uh, there's an obvious reply to my complaint, namely that you're not forced to use YouTube. But as I just said, yes, it's not like you really have a choice. You do have a choice, but the alternative the alternative really is not to participate um, in the public life of the internet, so to speak. The alternative is not to make videos, not or to make videos, but not to have them seen by other people. But I may win. I may win this race. Do I win this race? Do I win this race? Let me win this race. Do I win this race? <sighs> what? <sighs> I can't believe this. At the last minute I was got beaten by the green guy. Uh, so close. Okay, when we come back folks, more racing and less complaining about Google. So until next time folks, until then.